Because of our position on the edge of Europe, Ireland receives the full force of the Atlantic Ocean on its western shores, which makes our wave energy one of the most powerful in the world. Tony Lewis at the Hydraulic Maritime Research Centre in University College Cork is working to develop new ways to harness that power. At the Hydraulics and Maritime Research Centre, the main facility that we have is the Ocean Wave Basin. And this is a facility where we can create waves which model the real ocean in the laboratory. And this facility is unique in university in Europe. So here we have the waves running in the wave basin and you can see that the, uh, the computer is controlling the wave paddles and they're moving in such a way to create a wave pattern in the tank which is like you observe in the real ocean. Tony Lewis has been using this wave tank to test a number of different devices that are attempting to create power from the waves. One of the systems he's particularly interested in at the moment is known as the oscillating water column. The device effectively looks like an L on its side, with the short part visible above water. As the water enters the open chamber, it forces the air upwards. The force of this air turns a turbine, which in turn generates electricity. When the water recedes, it creates a vacuum and air rushes in from outside to fill it. And the turbine continues to turn in the same direction. It's this continuous motion of water and air which produces electricity. This was the theory which Tony had been testing for some time in his wave tank facility with some good results. About uh, six years ago, I was approached by Michael Whelan, who I knew from a long time ago from another marine context, and uh, he was looking for a project. So I suggested that maybe he would look at the oscillating water column system and try to develop that into a commercial machine. And really that's where it started and uh, Mike got very excited about it all and really it's, it's gone from there and the OE boy has developed out of that uh, with the ideas of Mike and, and his partners in the Ocean Energy Limited company. Uh, and this is the model that we started with, uh, the 1 to 50th scale model of the OE boy. And this was tested here in our tank uh, as the first stage of this development protocol. Following the success of the initial prototype, Tony continued to work on a series of larger models, which he tested in the wave tank under a variety of conditions. Mike Whelan has come to see how things are progressing with the latest model, which is at the 1 to 15 scale. OK, so Mike, you can see that Tom is running the, the extreme waves here now and you can see the motion of the model is really no worse than it was uh, when we had the normal waves running. OK, Tony, that's very good. I'm glad to have seen that now, because I'm happier about the whole thing also. We're ready to go ahead into, into the final phase of the, the project. The next stage for Tony and Michael is to build a quarter-scale model, place it out in Galway Bay, and see how it will survive a real west coast winter.